skinny penis 4533 three here. I'm not going to waste your time today. I'm just going to get straight into the video. So, when it comes to a relapse, it can feel like one of the worst things in the world. And for obvious reasons, you've made significant amount of progress in whatever it is you're doing, you know. Maybe you promised to quit drugs. Maybe you promised to quit porn. Maybe you promised to quit alcohol. And next thing you know, you're back at stage one. So, what do we do now? How do we combat this? How do we not let this relapse define us or worse off we end up binge relapsing over and over and over again and we end back up at stage one now here's what i'm going to give you as a piece of advice the first thing you need to acknowledge after you relapse assuming you've already done it if you're about to then this is also kind of a wake-up call but let's say you relapsed right the first thing i would recommend you to do is get a piece of paper and write down exactly how you feel and what led to it and what you're going to do is next time you think about relapsing or you get that urge or your mind tries to convince you to go and do that bad habit or go do that thing you read that piece of paper and you understand how that makes you feel see a lot of the methods i give in my videos are actually just about getting pieces of the paper writing down how you feel writing down who you want to be and just looking at them having them close by having them at your desk having them wherever because i promise you those things will make the difference and especially if you're like me you can have them all over your wall you can have them in places where you can't escape. I've literally got stuff on my ceiling. So I, I have that self-image, the person who I am, in my mind at all times. So keep that in mind as you go forward. The second thing I want you to do is you need to give yourself a little bit of a punishment for relapsing, for doing this bad thing. Now, here's the thing with that, though. When I say punishment, I'm not saying go get your balls kicked or castrated. What I am suggesting is that you do something that involves a bit of challenge, something that your mind definitely does not want to do. So that could be anything. That could involve even going outside and going on a very, very long run, right? It can involve something of that nature, if you see what I'm getting at here. It can be going to the gym and instead of doing pool day, you do leg day, for example or you hit legs two days in a row, or even if you hit legs yesterday, you do it again today. You see what I'm saying? You punish yourself. 200 push-ups right now, 200 pull-ups right now. It's something crazy like that, and yes, you're gonna be sore, yes, you're gonna be tired, and yes, you are not going to want to do it, but it's to drill in your head that relapse equals bad, because your brain doesn't fully understand it yet. Your brain doesn't fully understand what is going on in your head. So if you can drill it in that this is a bad thing, this is a bad activity, then you're gonna be less likely to do it again, especially if you build up that habit of, if you do relapse, you punish yourself. So that's another important thing to keep in mind. And third, I would honestly say is that you need to look at your self-image. A lot of the advice I give on my videos is actually just regarding self-image and self-image alone. If you can become more adaptable, if you can have more of an open mind towards yourself and understand that just because you failed doesn't mean you're a failure, okay? You failed, okay, cool, but you're still trying. You've still put the work in. You still went this many days without going back into your old addiction. You still went this amount of time. That is something that should be rewarded in itself. You should look at that with pride, especially if you've noticed that the amount of time you're doing those habits is decreasing, even if you're still doing it a little bit. As long as it's decreasing over time, that truly makes a difference, man. That honestly shows the integrity and strength of you, the fact that you're trying to fight back and not let this thing define you. But enough of that, straight to the self-image. If you have the self-image that you are an addict, you have the self-image that you are this guy who is prone to this trap, you are prone to the relapse, you are an addict, you struggle with this, oh, I'm part of NoFap, I'm part of being sobriety, I'm part of this, I'm not... I'm trying to quit drinking, things of that nature, right? If you change it from I'm trying to quit drinking to I don't drink, do you see that subtle change there? Do you see how those two individuals would carry themselves? One, I'm trying to quit drinking would most likely fall back into it after a few times because it's an effort. He's trying to quit drinking, whereas if you just don't drink, you don't drink. So that's something you should keep in mind. And also just think of it like this. I do not do this because it's not healthy and it's not good for me and I wouldn't want to do anything that harms me, that makes me feel like I'm a bad person, that makes me feel like I'm less of a person. That's something important to keep in mind as well. And just instead of having the mindset of an addict to just think, nope, I do not struggle with this, I have never struggled with this, 
even if you have to delude yourself for a little bit because trust me all successful men came from delusion every single successful person you've watched in your life was a little bit deluded keep that in your head man a lot of them were deluded do you think anyone believed Muhammad Ali when he said he was going to be a world heavyweight champion by beating Sonny Liston no he was a 7 to 1 underdog and no one believed him example just there he was deluded in his head but then he believed it he believed in who he was and he made it into a reality and I know that might be a bit of an extreme example but just keep that in your mind man you need to be on your side your brain is currently not on your side your brain is telling you to do the bad habit to do the bad thing okay that should scare you the fact that you want success you truly and deeply want success in your life you want to change the paradigm of your life but your brain is stopping you dead in your tracks that should scare you that should make you think what is going on why does my brain want me to fail why does my brain want me to keep doing these habits it's because you built this habit over the course of about 10 5 whatever many years you kept building and building and building it up and now it's reached its breaking point so that's my advice if you can just re change the self image in your head and also a bonus tip don't isolate yourself don't be like oh I'm a failure oh because I did this or that no you failed but you're not a failure okay that is extremely important to keep in mind you are not a failure you just messed up everybody messes up it's time to dust yourself off and keep going and do not isolate yourself because isolation leads to shame and shame leads to relapse it just it just does the more you shame yourself the more you're going to be likely to isolate yourself and be alone in your room and then you never know what could happen so you need to keep that in your mind to get away from these distractions get away from these demons because i promise you there will come a day where you don't have to worry about this problem that you're facing anymore i promise you that day will come but it only will come if you believe in yourself and you believe in who you're truly meant to be do you understand so if you've relapsed today if you've messed up and whatever it was keep going don't let that chaser effect suck you up and make you go and search for that dopamine effect again because it's going to hit you hard it's really going to hit you hard but now is the time to become the man you're meant to be and fight temptation and just succeed hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you in a bit like and subscribe if you think i've got a small penis <laughs>